Alrighty, my computer cut off. And this is a continuation of the bottles. Okay, so here I have another one. Giving it a little squeeze so that just at the very tip, a little bit of the um, silicone comes out. I just, I don't know, I just don't like making uh, bottles. Okay. All right, so to me, I've got the hard part over with somewhat. So now I'm going to take my bottles and I am going to open up Let me give this a little shake, 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 shake. Okay, and now I'm going to take one of my bottles. You can measure if you want. Now when I add the fabric softener, it added too much. So let me just dump a little bit in here. Okay. Set that aside. Okay, set that aside. There we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is get one of these shish kebab sticky roos and stir. Looks pretty good. Stir it up because you can't put your lids on yet to shake because the silicone has to dry. Now, what I was just thinking, and I forgot to mention, when you add your water, you don't have to add as much water um, because when you add your fabric softener, it's going to raise the level of the liquid anyway. So, But what I'm going to do here, this is more than what I normally put in the bottles. So what I'm going to do, and I don't know if y'all have ever thought to do this. Whoops, that's just too much. Okay. Now you'll notice there's quite a bit of um, liquid in these bottles, almost full to the top. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, each one has had a stir. So what I'm going to do, since I have quite a bit of liquid, now I'm not going to put away this silicone completely yet, um, and I may have to come back to it later and put my lid on, set that aside. I'll go ahead and just stick it right in the water seeing how it's um but what i think i am going to do is i'm going to get an extra container let's see i'm going to get an extra container and i'm going to pour quite a bit of that liquid in here. It made way too much. Okay, you'll notice now it's getting lower. Because I want Okay, I have this set aside. And this right here, I, this is the regular clothes softener, which, you know, you can use in your wash. Okay, still, because it's still, you know, solid. But this is the watered down milk here. And I'm going to save this and put it in the refrigerator and label it. But I want my milk a little bit thicker. So I took some of what I made out and I'm adding more glow softener because I want it kind of thick now you can go to the trouble of measuring if that's what you want to do but I'm not going to measure okay let's see yeah that looks pretty good so I'm going to stir 
and stir, and stir, and stir. And I'm gonna label, I'm gonna label this so nobody in the household accidentally drinks this. Okay, I can still use my regular softener for my clothes. Let me rinse off the bottom. Okay, dry my hands. And let me see, what do I think? Uh, it looks good. You know, you can make it as thick as you want. So then what you want to do, you want to make sure that your bottles are dry. So I'm going to take a washcloth first and I'm going to wipe everything down. You know, when you do canning and you make pickles, you don't want the outer part of the juice from your pickles to be on your jars, right? Before you put them in the, in the pot to process. So the same way with your little bottles, you want to go ahead and make sure there's no clothes softener on the outside and I'll tell you why it's not gonna hurt anything if you don't wash or wipe them down but here's the thing that I'm going to do when I get my bottles um, when the tops when the tops dry overnight I am going to seal my bottle with the tops with silicone after I put the tops back on I'm going to reinforce my bottles and the little nipple on the inside so that they won't pop off accidentally and I have a mess or whatever. I like to do that too. So now I know my bottles are nice and clean and you can set those aside somewhere where they won't get bumped. And when my nipples are dry, when I go to seal my bottle, for example, this pink one, let's just say, I'm going to put some silicone around the inside edge and around the nipple area on the inside so that this does not pop off and I'm going to secure it accordingly. And I'll have my completed bottle with the safety factor of them not leaking or break, you know, popping open or anything um, or spilling or whatever. So again, I will put some silicone around the edge here on, and on the inside and around the nipple area so it will be airtight and secure and it won't come off. Okay, so this is how I make my bottles and like I said if you get too much liquid because I should have mentioned that as you fill up your your bottles with your distilled water just be you know just limit the amount of distilled water because when you add your clothes softener it's going to bring your liquids up more and I had way too much water in my bottles but guess what now I've got enough liquid in here almost full not quite to where I can make some more bottles and I won't have to worry about mixing up a new batch. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you guys. Have a great day. Love you. Thank you for watching this short video. Bye-bye.